Good afternoon. Uh, this is Evan Kilkis here from the Lake Berryessa News. I just got a uh, information phone call from Alfredo Pedroza, our uh, regional supervisor here in Napa County, and he has fantastic news. Uh, the firefighters and uh, police officers and road crews, Caltrans, um, and all agencies involved have all been able to clear the roads and extinguish the fire enough where Circle Oaks and Wooden Valley Road residents uh, can now go home. So it's 4 o'clock here, uh, 4.15 on Monday afternoon, and this just in, uh, Circle Oaks residents and Wooden Valley residents can all go home. So thank you very much to the firefighters uh, and, to, uh, and to the police officers, as we keep saying. Uh, also thanks to all the people behind the scenes that coordinated this uh, effort. Uh, uh, the, this Atlas fire is still an ongoing event and there's uh, still certain flare-ups here and there, uh, but at the moment uh, everything is safe and secure and uh, they are now allowing all residents of Wooden Valley uh, and all residents at Circle Oaks uh, and, along, and all residents along Highway 121 uh, from Wooden Valley Road to the corners. Uh, Wooden, Wooden Valley Road is open, uh, but uh, Highway 121 and Highway 121 is open from Wooden Valley Road to uh, the corners. Uh, but Highway 121 is closed between Napa and Wooden Valley Road. So the only road closure left now is just that one stretch of 121 between Wooden Valley Road and Napa. Um, in terms of uh, homes that were lost, Shelley, thanks for asking, and we should take a pause and, 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 and say our prayers and say thanks for the fact that uh, no homes were burned in Circle Oaks, uh, no homes were uh, lost in the Berryessa Highlands, uh, and Lake Berryessa itself uh, was uh, spared from the destruction of the fire. Uh, but a, a one home was burned, or two, basically two homes were burned in Wooden Valley. Uh, or, I'm sorry, not Wooden Valley, Capel Valley. Uh, we, we've been talking about one that was a, uh, a house above 128, uh, and then we've been also talking about a, a cabin, what, what I've been referring to as a cabin in, in the uh, mobile, in the uh, in, ter in our ranch. Uh, as it turns out, uh, that cabin, and, and this, we're doing a fundraiser for these neighbors of ours. Uh, so the cabin was owned by Efren, one, one of our favorite uh, local neighbors around uh, our ranch in the Berryessa Highlands and Steel Park. Uh, and then uh, the house above the hill was owned by another uh, local family. <clears throat> uh, a new family for that matter. So we are going to be doing fundraisers and you can donate to the GoFundMe below if you'd like. But that's about enough because uh, the Berryessa Highlands, Rag Canyon, the, north, the west part of Lake Berryessa, those have all been let back home uh, way earlier today, and you all got to see that. Uh, thank you very much again to Alfredo Pedroza specifically. Uh, as the fire finally started dying down uh, across the, or as I, sh I should say, as the fires uh, started uh, mellowing out across the, the county, uh, Alfredo was quick to be able to communicate with us in his district and, and uh, let us know uh, how quickly we can get back in. Uh, and it, it obviously didn't happen as fast as everybody wanted it to. Uh, everyone's been evacuated for five to six to seven days. Uh, but again, we're all extremely thankful we have homes to go home to. Uh, so thanks again uh, to all these people that help make it happen. The road crews especially, they never get enough uh, love. So uh, uh, I think that's all for now. I think we've answered all the questions that need to be answered and, and not many people are here. So <laughs> glad you guys are enjoying and people will get this information uh uh, out to everybody else, so please share this information. Uh, and Rose, and all any questions you might have, you'll see at the beginning of this video. Uh, so 121 is yes open from Wooden Valley to 128. Thank you, and have a good night. And we'll give another update uh, for sure tomorrow at some point. Uh, but I think I'm I'm going to be done for now. Uh, these are enough updates. Uh, great question, Michael. I, I don't know if there's power at Circle Oaks. I know that the corners. Uh, and the mobile park there d does have power now. It took them an extra w little bit. Uh, so the corners uh, has power. Circle Oaks, I'm sure, is next. And they might have power already, or it's close behind, I'm sure. Um, 
So uh, yes, happy to help and uh, glad everybody enjoyed the, the footage and, and happy to share what's going on. there. Thank you, I love it. Jonathan just uh, contributed here. There is power at Circle Oaks. So see, that's what we love about this Facebook Live thing is we can, I can get information from all of you guys. Uh, so Cal, thanks for confirming that. So uh, and I, yeah, I think that covers the region. We're all very lucky. Wouldn't I, Rag Canyon, I think it, it didn't have power earlier, but it might by now too. So that's another question mark, but I think everyone's got power. So there it is. Beautiful Lake Berryessa, another day in paradise and uh, have a great rest of the evening and we'll, we'll see y'all tomorrow uh, unless something random comes up tonight, but uh, otherwise we'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good night.